This is a video of my boat ride this morning on the 14th of August 2021. It's just a couple of days before Tropical Depression Fred is supposed to come here. Um, not really expecting that to be a big event for us. This, this time it looks like it's weakening significantly. I'm just showing here now how easy it is to launch your boat. If you uh, have a boat lift, you lived on the water, you just walk out on your dock, get into your boat. I just, all I had to do was unhook one electrical cord that charges my batteries and push a button on a remote and my boat uh, was taken down to water level. And then I sat there on my lift with the motor down far enough in the water to, so that it was getting water into the uh, lower unit and I started the engine and let it run for a while because I wanted to make sure that it was going to run. Uh, one of my neighbors helped me uh, fix it because uh, last weekend I went out and I got stranded and I had a lot of water in my fuel. So he came over one day this past week and uh, he actually he did most of the work. I did, I did mostly running for tools. Uh, now this is a part that I didn't notice the first time when I was leaving because I was looking backwards but my trolling motor handle actually hits that upright there that guide post and uh, I didn't did not notice it when I was backing out because I was looking backwards uh, my brother was the last one to use the trolling motor uh, last weekend actually when we were stranded so I'm gonna have to have a talk with him <laughs> he uh, he put it on there backwards it needs to be aimed the other way so that the uh, the propeller and the handle are pointing in towards the boat instead of out uh, now what I'm gonna do for major portions of this video is I'm gonna speed it up to five to seven hundred percent of normal time so that uh, you're not bored by watching me cruise along at three miles per hour through all the canals uh, because I'm going basically at idle speed the whole way and I, I get a little distracted in this video because uh, I went out was basically going to just do a tour of all of the canals and then I wound up seeing a lot of fish I mean coming along these mangroves right here on the right it was they were just stacked up with uh, snook this morning and I was wishing that I had my rod and reel with me I didn't have any fishing gear with me nothing but I, I kind of go up and down this one canal several times in this video um, and there's also a spot up here a little farther up on the left my brother happens to live there and I hung around outside of his back dock for a little while um, I could hear him mowing in his front yard. I kept thinking he'd walk around to the back. Might be able to get him to uh, come out and um, maybe we could take off and go do, do a little fishing. But he never did come out until the very end. And by then I was getting ready to go, go back home. But uh, the, the total length of this video was about between 45 minutes and an hour. But it's cut down with me speeding everything up so much in different sections that it's I think if I remember right it's going to be like 13 and a half minutes or 14 and a half minutes um, now at the very end you'll get to see what happens with my uh, trolling motor handle when I come back in and that's the first time I actually noticed it uh, was coming into my lift luckily I did not damage it but um, you can see you can hear a dog in the bar background there barking yeah every time you hear me kind of that little grind that's me going from forward to reverse because I kept backing up and looking at uh, the fish and uh, mostly all snook was what I was seeing but I did see a lot of mullet and uh, 
a few snapper, uh, and then around some of the docks I was seeing sheep's head. But my fish finder was giving me um, a whole bunch of readings, what looked like fish. A couple times it looked like I went over some bait. Um, it's kind of hard to um, get over a, a bait ball in the canals because they're typically eight, eight feet deep, anywhere from some, in some places four feet deep, but uh, everywhere this morning that I was 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 about eight feet deep, eight or nine feet. And so you come over the top of the fish with a big boat, they always try to, they always scatter. But that's why I was kind of drifting a little slower along beside this uh, shoreline here. Because uh, the snook, they get in the hang out, hang out in the shade up underneath there. And uh, you can see them if you've got polarized glasses on. My camera doesn't have a polarized lens or I would have tried to capture some of them on video, but there was no way. I've tried it before and I can never get them. I need to uh, investigate getting a polarized lens for my cell phone camera. Um, there's a couple places up here where you're going to hear people talking really fast when somebody somebody comes out on their dock and talks to me um, sounds kind of funny when you do everything in 700 percent This canal here let's see I believe this is third aisle yeah this is third aisle between third and fourth and I'm coming back up now I'm gonna go back to regular time here in just a second uh, just so you can hear my cell phone whistle at me it's my wife wondering what I'm doing. Sometimes I get out here on the water and I'll forget where I'm at or I'll forget that I've been out so long and uh, I had not told her where I was going and she was looking for me. Should there That was her tone right there. So I had to turn the camera off for a while so that's when you're gonna see a um, a little jump in the video So, now here I am talking to my brother and his wife. Um, he finally came out, finally finished his mowing, but by then I was ready to ready to get in. It was starting to get warm on me. Here I am turning around and heading back towards my house. And I'll show you the, uh, well first of all you'll see the guy that helped me fix my boat, one of my neighbors. Everybody here is really, really friendly. Uh, he knows a lot about outboard engines and uh, something that would have probably taken me two days of YouTubes to figure out. He, he came over and helped me with it and it took him, you know, an hour. And uh, I was mostly just running tools and parts and stuff for him while he was doing the, the stuff. But he explained everything he did, so that, that was good for me. So here I am, down to regular speed. You'll hear our little conversation here. Uh, my neighbor's building a dock there, just had a boat, boat lift put in. I haven't taken it out anywhere, but just through the canals. So I don't know 
what it's going to do when I get out of the water. And I just want to make sure that it's going to keep running. Yeah. There was a lot in there, wasn't there, kid? So here I am turning around, heading back to my dock. I'm going to slow it back down to regular speed again here in just a second. So you can see my trolling motor kind of hit up against that upright. But like I said, luckily it didn't, didn't damage it. After I turned the film, camera off, I went over and checked it to make sure it was still working. Right there, it's hitting against it. I had to push the boat off from the back upright to get it to go around it. Well, that's it. Um, if you like this video, please pl press uh, like and please press subscribe. I hope to have more videos and I'm going to be actually doing one where I actually do a canal tour instead of so much looking at the fish. I promise. <laughs>